in a country that has more than its fair share of natural beauty. The cloud forests of Monte Verde stand alone in their unique nature. Atmospheric conditions have to be perfect to maintain so much biodiversity, and this famed national park attracts more than 200,000 visitors a year. Park ranger Ronnie Brenes tells us people come for the beauty and because the park here is so well looked after. I know you hate the sun, little buddy. But biologist Richard Laval has real concerns about the future. He's been collecting scientific data in Monteverde for almost half a century and says rising temperatures are a direct threat to the cloud forests. As a species, we're, uh, we're self-destructing and uh, even if we wanted to self-destruct uh, intentionally, we couldn't do a much better job than we're already doing. And Richard Laval isn't alone in his conclusions. Other scientists say lowland species of plants and animals are steadily moving into what's left of the forest, whilst others are retreating in search of cooler temperatures. Essentially then, this incredibly unique place is a super sensitive barometer to climate change. And researchers say they've already lost two species of frog that only exist here. And others in the area say they're seeing changes too. Aldemar Salazar has been farming organic coffee on the edge of the cloud forest for 20 years. But his business is now under serious threat. In the last couple of seasons, 80% of his crop has been killed by a fungus that never grew here before. Climate change and sudden differences in temperatures during the day make the perfect environment for the rust fungus to develop. That's what is causing so much damage to our coffee plants. Globally, cloud forests are rare and delicate. They make up just 1% of the world's wooded areas. But if the scientists are right about what's happening here, they may be in real danger of disappearing altogether. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Monteverde, Costa Rica.